Uh, hello, good evening. You are watching the Golden Bee Revolution coming to you from uh, Star TV. I'm your host. Be kind and most of the link at a most of us are going to find a care for Sudan and Alpha Bakli Sura and Fed and a mink at a doctor of the Kadri Silatina from the University of Began Lecture Matila. Ayala Yamina the Rana Kuamanda and the Mapuruka Murkatandi Puruka Ilakaria long. Well, uh, anything that will help you to become a responsible person in the future, but Nimbeta Kalana without involving a peaceful dialogue. That's why we have with us here Mr. Kutubo uh, Sane. Who is, who is representing the Peace Gambia here. And then uh, I have with me, of course, Mr. Omar uh, Malmo Sambu, junior, I will add that one too, who is an environmental scientist and environmental uh, engineer. Uh, today, Nayak Kachas or Mialanko, Kumela Bakela, Bari Nyaji, Kumakakino, Mialanko, Ning Atrala, Mankairo Kacha, Wella Emilo Lalo, Sakonia Jibe, Miata Bina Doctor Adam Fajan, Minka Doctor Abdukade Selatila, Animo Bakachala, uh, Islam or Karola. Uh, meanwhile, I'll not be the matter and you call Manta Dallas or Prunin Christian Bundala, but the wrong minion that can I will like Carola, Master Nobila, but in Alake next Wednesday, our fourth episode, Manatla Angela, Aflamba Diamela Caro Bundala, Mink at her priest Julia Stiller, Abinale Afanu Mosakacha, Christian La Carola. Mafala Bracabake, Alcafta Mukan, Alcafta Kana, Nanin Cachato La Bila, Co Alian and Nadro, we always uh, follow the, uh, the tradition. Now we'll invite to the show that we introduce them from the right side la, and the la, la left side. La. So with that, the first uh, be la, to the Golden Bee Revolution program. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Follow, follow, me men fola, wala man kubi min silmaya in menke, wa atwati, nina ngadabanding li benta. Isafoy assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalamu alaikum. Ela jibel la la fakalung eh jumala nyintila bari mbala fadrong eh isa daman dimfo eh niyame doctor abdul kadri sila anat nanjan biyo doba fala eh minamung ala singotila minayasi jandula. Okay, doctor doctor abdul kadri sila eh biyo la fala toti alhamdulillah kumi doctor abdul kadri sila wamu fanya tume ya longo kumi londo ni tatu ifuta tatu la doto isi kaito dealer alhamdulillah rabbil alamin valenti the university of the gambia at the same time the university mentor ulum islam university so university of the gambia the islamic studies they are long come missile me ale karandige ko ka missile me ya karandige ndol la nyame ko ndol bi je sa kene arabo la do bi je sa kene angalela yo mbola so ni na tani university doto wo mo islamic university let me ale ko arabo le ka karandige jama jama arabo le ka karandige yo anin missile me ya ka nyine le karandige ni ka fe Al Ehsan University. So Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. I'm from Gambia. I'm from Malati. I'm here to come to see you. Come on Monday morning. But in the original of what I am here, I'm here. I'm here to bring you some more salo and yam. I'm here to bring you some more salo and yam. I'm here to the Golden Bee Revolution stage. Next, I have with me is Kudubosana. So your viewers want to know who is speaking. Yeah, greetings from. Me, Kudu Wasani, my name is Kudu Wasani. I'm greeting each and everyone out there who is uh, watching in a Golden Bee Revolution. Yeah, I am Kudu Wasani, you know, I'm here to represent the Peace Gambia. Yeah. yeah, Peace Gambia, I'm here to represent Peace Gambia. Thank you so much. Yeah, Feel like home. Welcome yeah. to the Golden Bee Revolution. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, I have, uh, I can't even remember your name. All right, thank you very much and thank you for having me here. My name is Omar Malmo Sambo. Uh, I'm I'm an environmental engineer by academics and uh, I work for the University of the Gambia and I run an NGO called Green Up Gambia yeah. which is uh, an environmental NGO that focuses on environmental issues mm -hmm. around the globe and uh, I'm a climate change negotiator for the Gambian party at the United Nations. Wow. Thank you. Bravo. Welcome to the Golden Bee Revolution. Thank you. As a cultural once we invite you here, we have a dialogue with you. You introduce yourself. We want to know who is speaking. And then uh, we want to know what you have for our beautiful viewers. To re a quick reminder, the Golden Bee Revolution is a TV show that gives young people to showcase their talent. Because we believe 
most Gambians are talented, but because there is no stage like such to give them to come and market themselves, it's very, very difficult to sell what they have. So with that, uh, I will send my first question to Dr. Uh, uh, I will send my first question to Abdelkader Silla. Excuse yeah, me for using the doctor. No, no, you can use doctor. So thank you so much, sir. Uh, why do you think education is important, especially in a view of uh, Islamic? طيب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم on the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful his peace and blessing be upon our prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to all mankind in short not education is very important and if we look to the Quran the first thing that Allah started teaching his prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم the laws and the field and the seal of the prophets, mm -hmm. he started by telling him, Iqra. Mm -hmm. So Iqra mm -hmm. means read. Mm -hmm. So that means uh, the thing that we should start is reading. But read what? Mm -hmm. The Quran said, Iqra, bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq, wa khalaq al-insana min alaq. Iqra, wa rabbuka al-akram, alladhi allama bil qalam, allama al-insana ma alam ya'alam. Iqra, that means read in the name of your Lord, yeah. who created who created? Created what? He didn't tell us. That so, so, that, so that we can understand that everything, anything without Allah is part of Allah's creation. Yeah. It's the, the sole creator and sole sustainer of this universe. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, he said he created man from congenated blood. So he said, read, and your Lord is bountiful. So this verse is teaching us many things. I think uh, not one show, not two show, mm -hmm. not three show yeah. to cover all those things. Yeah, very well. So coming in, I tell you, fame followed me. I don't know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Come, come, 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 أبوه على دار فعلت نعم أكو كرم من صوت ولا مية داروك أي جمال الددا أي أنا براك أي داروك أي هذا ما دين هذا ما دين الجن والملائكة كل everything أي أبي فجيل وكل أنا تعرف مية داروك أي هذا ما دين الددا كبو يلا كنترول إيش كرم أي ماريو تولا ماريو من مبوياري الذي علم أبو القرن وعلم الإنسان ما لم يعلم مية كرم دروك مولا كبرك كلا لندو دي مولا I had him all, I had him all, I had him all, I had him all, I had him all. You marry you, I am London, I had him all, I had him all, because I am the most important creature to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a human being. Yes. So, come here, give me a minute. Eko, bismillah, because I have a lot of people who are here, and I have a lot of people who are here, and I have a lot of people who are here, and I have a lot of people I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. I am going to go to the next one. Doctor Yaba Konola, lawyer Yaba Konola, Alim Fengemala. Yeah, come in here, the Quran will follow, follow, Taco, Ekra, this man, the Kaladi, Halak. We don't mean tea, London, Yin. But London, you buy in a full of blood, a bad. I will follow the law, one of the torch, Subhan, who are done. Manso may along, I tell you, had a money better. It's a follow to Karan, ya long, Munum woman sort. And why I am here is the most important part. Of this, that many are in Nambija, and where are we attending? We got time in Tola. So, how many in New York now? We call a Ekra. Bismillah, because now we are doing co. We are in a Ekra. We use Ekra when we read Quran, but we are now use Sidlafula. I don't be just Sidlafula. We are not going to Allah now. We move farlo leti mo beka. We move farlo leti. How many are beka? How many are beka? And in Jinol, we are Allah now. Ya ala la ya mar kuwa long ni inka mala isi eke. Ya ala fatandi kuwa long ni inka mala isi 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 isi
and philosopher like Aristotle and others. Mm -hmm. Philosopher, you got to know good is to do good. Ah, who can do long? But when you think you can't cook, you can't do it. But I think that Allah is a long follow. Me na long. You know, come in the Kebal Cafe, and I don't know if you're a friend of mine. Nati, when I'm in tea, me Allah long is in a film called Enkaran. Then be in a fala. We saw Falan Kafila at the Miami. Yo, fin jamal ayo jamal fudi ne choli bo konole kapin tayabji eh eh ka English kara la bo kon French bo kon fu wo fa adama ya kara kan na kwa fana kara na ya kalo unta lumu jumalet ha na adama ya mbota mintole mbota yo wale kamulet na lo ni na mbota mati ye ni na ma akuja wote ye wale fanya tume na alon koi important ali ko e e ko maatale ke long mari la habu yo ni ade iqra al aye nun wal qalam ala ye kaljel nun wal qalam ma yasturun ako wa kali kalala ani ka safero ke men yes nun only god knows the meaning of nun wal qalam that's why they said this is the miracle is part of the miracle of the quran yes starting the nun this this word nun ha mim alif la mim and other things that the Arabs they didn't know the meaning to show them that this prophet is a real prophet it's not a fake prophet it's a real prophet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Quran is not the fabrication of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mwani sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mwani sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ha mim Quran wa la alif la mim saad kaf ha hai aayim saad ahi bi akutoro li bji ahi dhamu ta'ala yu bari yu akabi ngarfu li mim Mwame kotolo. Arabo ili mani ya lanko ika wasu kwa ito nima arabo ili idolo diyata yekuwa lino yekuwa yi makeno. Mwame ya utimna yo wea atimna yekuwa ila liyao kanafo bila the challenge yes Allah is defying us. Still now can we bring the Quran same to the Quran or even similar to the Quran we can by the pen and the thing that they write so I'm going to say this here, and I'm talking about the, the angels. Yeah. Some some scholars said is is talking about anything, any kind of writing mm -hmm. that Allah is uh, uh, swearing of the pen. That was the importance of the uh, of the pen. Mm -hmm. That is showing the important uh, uh, the importance of the pen. Mm -hmm. So and also the record yeah. to write it. And put it in a place mm -hmm. that is they call it archive or archive. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's very important. Mm -hmm. it's very Im if you look to our generation, yeah. you'll see that these white men, yes, you should tell white men, mm -hmm. they colonize us. Mm -hmm. Still, now <laughs> we are in their hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, why? Because in education, the distance between us and and them yeah. like this art and the heaven. Yeah. They say the heaven is the limit. Yeah. Or the sky is the limit. So, so, limit. Limit, yeah, so they are in the heaven that we are still now. Mm -hmm. huh? We are still now starting to call it. The sky is the limit yeah, yeah. Uh, for the Westerns, the Americans, the Chinese, and then the Indians. But still, in the game, we, we seem to be clawing. So from there, I will cut uh, him short to uh, Mr. Omar Malmosambu. Uh, like we get from him, he said, the sky is the limit to them. So do you think we can do that? Is it possible? But first, I want to know why why our environmental scent is so important, so we can know that we just don't want to crawl, but we want to get to the sky. Thank you very much. Uh, often I refer to environment as the universal set on which all other things fall under as a subset. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I would just want to take it a little into a religious perspective, and then I have read a little on Hinduism, Christianity, and of course Islam in a research we've conducted not long ago. And we have realized that in all these major scriptures of the world, in terms of religion and the ways of lives of the people, yeah. it is embedded in those scriptures that man must take care of his environment mm -hmm. and live That's in harmony cool. with the environment. Yeah. So this is not just people wanting the environment to be protected, but it is embedded and enshrined in our scriptures. And of course, it's, it is incumbent upon all of us to yeah. really follow what is written in our scriptures. Mm -hmm. So first, the significance of environment and environmental management should be part of our spiritual beliefs because they are embedded in our religion. Sure. Yeah, as a climate negotiator and as well a climate engineer or environmental engineer, let's say uh, 
when I refer to the environment as the universal set, what do we do out of this environment? Mm -hmm. Everything we do is within the environment. Yeah. So that means there is nothing human beings can do without the environment. So mm -hmm. that is how significant the environment is. Yeah. We're having a TV program within an environment. Mm -hmm. If there is no quality air here, mm -hmm. and if there is no comport of the human being, but then we cannot have it, it here. Yeah. And this is from the trees. That tells you the significance of the environment. Yeah. And these things, machines you're seeing here, are all from natural resources. Sure. These are naturally endowed resources that are created by, by, by God. And of course, human beings should actually benefit from them. But in, our, in benefiting from them, we mm -hmm. need to use these resources judiciously well. so that the generation yet unborn could actually benefit from them sure. so therefore sustainability of environmental management and all the acts of humankind on this earth mm -hmm. you know these are things that are mentioned in the scripture so the significance of environment is just beyond human reasoning but mm -hmm. because all, all everything you see on earth is created and they're all God's creation yeah. so therefore human beings need to live in harmony with their environment mm -hmm. and as well if we destroy the environment is indirectly destroying ourselves because yeah. If you look at all, most of these conflicts around the world are mm -hmm. uh, based on environmental resource conflict. Yeah. People are fighting each other because of diamonds, gold, and, and these are natural resources. Mm -hmm. So that tells you a lot about food that we get is from the environment, mm -hmm. you know. And the roof we are under here is from the environment. Yeah, yeah. This building is from the environment. So that is I can remember uh, watching uh, some of you, uh, following you on your uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I saw you visited the place uh, in, uh, I think, uh, Indonesia, mm -hmm. where you call it the mini heaven. The yeah. environment is so beautiful that, uh, do you think this is possible in the Gambia here? Is it only a portrait or do you think it the, was made the, by man? The possibilities might be very minimal because if you look at the, the, the geographical location and the, the, the topographical characteristics of Indonesia as a country, it's yeah. way different from the Gambia. Uh, I was in Bali, which is an island, it's a Hindu island, right. and the difference here is, and these are things that think scholars from the Islamic and the Christian perspective should be really preaching our people. Mm -hmm. Now in Hinduism, because those people are dominantly Hindu, yeah. mm -hmm. it is fundamental in their religion mm -hmm. and it is key that every human being takes care of their environment. Yeah. Now because they believe in reincarnation yeah. and they believe that human beings turn into other species, yeah, yes. they don't kill monkeys yeah. and they don't destroy their forest. Mm -hmm. So most of these natural resources you see within those areas, they are protected and nobody touches them because they believe that it's part of their Gossip is part of their ways of life, yeah. it's part of their spirituality. Mm -hmm. So we have a dos contra, it means you don't believe in, 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 in your religion. So therefore in practice in their religion. Sometime ago, some time ago I saw you like you were like the monkeys have decided. The monkeys have decided. Yes. Don't you think it's bringing on a violence? I think I have a peace guide. You he's talking about the monkeys have decided, stopping us from getting that multipurpose center. Do you think uh, it's a very good move? Because like we think I, I, I think I was scared to say the monkeys have decided. <laughs> yeah, first of all, you know, you said if we talk environment, we don't have it here. Yeah. But if we talk peace, yeah. we have it here. <laughs> So, yes. so, do you think, can you, can you defend your case? Because he's like, the monkeys have decided, and then you are here, I'm lying on you, I want to live in peace. So, the monkeys have decided, does it, does it uh, sound like something, that kind of like a violence? It sounds very well, because if the monkeys, monkeys should have peace, yeah. until they, they, they can decide, yeah. then, you know, peace is very fine. So, how do you think we can get this peace now? This peace, you know, can be, 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 be gotten, you know, in, in many ways. Okay, how? First, you know, we have to uh, be terrible. Okay. Uh, you know, Gambia, you know, at this moment is, is, is at a close mm -hmm. We don't know where we are really going. Sure. And you know, people people have to be yeah. We this is the country that we have, and we'll continue. Yeah. You know, if we are judging, uh, if we are taking things from tribal angles or you know, sectionalism or regionalism, mm -hmm. it's going, it's not going to help in any way. Okay. So the Gambia at this moment should have, uh, you know, think uh, a cooperation of just. Uh, less than two million. Yeah, it's more yeah. like two point six or two point eight. Okay, yeah. that, and that would just is an estimate. Yeah. So you know, uh, estimate you know is, is about two million. So why are we so uh, uh, intolerant and you know what if you think like it? So Gambians should have you know come together. Yeah. And you know fight for a common interest. Then there we are going to get to where we want. To. Okay. And in that we will get the Gambia that we want and serve. We cannot get the Gambia we want without a peaceful dialogue. So with that, this will take us to our first co uh, short commercial break. When we come back, we will let you know how do we tackle some of these things. Because I have two people here that I think I have called for a debate. So let's see the environmental <laughs> will be pushing. And then we can hear also what peaceful or maybe 
what mechanisms we can put in play to see the monkeys will decide, the monkeys have decided, and then we <laughs> can with our environment. But yet we have, a, uh, how do you call it, Dr. Celery us here, who will be talking to us on how to use this uh, medium in an Islamic way, in a peaceful manner, because like every religion preaches peace, one of which is Islam, Salam means peace, and then we are always talking about peace because we want to promote peace. This is part of our activities. So with this, let's go for our short commercial break, and then we will get you back. Thank you. Welcome back viewers, you're watching uh, the Golden Bee Revolution TV show. Like I told you, when we come back, we may have a strong debate here, but part of our things we do is like we provide a dialogue where a mutual understanding will come and then we approach things to have a positive result. So they are here. I'm just scared I'm not sitting between you so that you will not escape oh no. here. Oh so no. But I am confident he's a peaceful guy, you are an environmentalist, <laughs> so you are all environmental friendly. So we will accept you like the way you treat them outside there. So here is the state, but first I will come back to uh, Dr. Okay. Uh, Abdul Qadir yeah. uh, Let's threaten them a little, because I am confident they are ready to share what. But uh, what are the punishments for someone who tries to create disability in a society? Islam fundamental issue the cornerstone because Islam, Islam said the state yeah. should have four corners. Mm -hmm. That is, this is al amun, al ghidai, wal amun min al khawf, wal amun bil ma'aruf, wa nahi anil munkar. This is my new friend, Nahan Wale. We are going to bank on the world, the world, the bank on the world. Follow, follow, money to the Lamaniari, the Lamaniari, so to be found to. إلى دمروته إلى من يسوت الفولتة إلى من يأمو أم جنرالة فلو فلو ي ي ي كنا سلا إيه yes they are free from hunger and at the same time they are free from starvation starvation and they are free from fear okay next two steps will come two corners that is الأمر بالمعروف كان يا مركو كان دولا والنهي أن المنكر كان يوم فتندي كم جاولا يقول يا تيمنا نينا تا إسلام وجيب إسلام إتسلف is a peace so you cannot build your country on anarch at the same time you cannot you cannot build it on fauba بكر بانكو بكر نو 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 سبو كان بكر نو 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 كلو كان بكر نو 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 كان يو واتت can you catch a fee? Let them see me. I can't put your pallet. You know, some of the other side of the world, the whole day, the cart or Rahim. Yes, no, 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 no Moli nengal mota, moli kana yo bani, moli kana waktu tak mau mulet. Because Islam kila mevo, aku al Muslim man salim al Muslimun, melisani hi wa yadi hi, melisani moli, melisani moli jamal te. Aku moli tang kata men menama ana bulo, wala melisani mo. So ni tu mana be moli kajafila, abe moli nenna, abe bani nenna, abe kumol folema, abe dambel nenna. Itela misili mea hansa hamansa. Mite bulo de mwenda nafulo kuna ibati yale. Wakita mbele denta nga nafulo yu kafu minyo wa baladila. Fo kafu ole mba. Fo banko tale mba. Fo kompani tale mba. Fo mwede wa mba ina ve business wana. Ika atapale ya kotole ba. Wale fete wa sunyale ba. Wale fete mu 
bandi wala te kana en mon abdullah te ya suya wala be mo ko ngade kana en mon abdullah jani ibe wo konale itema la muslima ya manke moti ma la muslima ya sahat abra ani evan ko bandi muslima wala ha ani ki la sala la la sala ya jaa moli ko mandi daaji kanyi ma kan ako molla aqrab indi manzila aqrabukum ilayya manzilata yawm al qiyama ahasinukum akhlaqa molla be sutiyana na soma al qiyama no men ya lon ko daaji ko ni yata ka tambi mol bela so we have to promote our ethical value so ni ku fulo wala mi ya marloti ka ya maro ke ku kendola ka mol fatan ku jawal wala atinna la subhanahu wa ta'ala aqul asr inna al-insana lafi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilus salihat wa tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bis sabr mol le kasara ta wal asr nan kali al ansar wala wala ngol kali waato wala ko hada madin kasara tal fodan tan din jamal na moti illa alladhina fumul min yalam amanu bil imaniyata wa amilus salihat ya kunu mal bal wa tawassaw bil haqq ya tonya ya nyo ya mari tonya fola ya tonya fanam fo nyoye ha tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bis sabr ya nyo ya mari fanam ka sabar nyoye that is the tolerance we should be tolerant we are all human beings and we are created by god without considering the affiliation of religion or whatsoever because I was there in the holy Quran in the Quranakum in the Quran wa unfa wa ja'alnakum shu'ur wa qabail li ta'arafu in the Quranakum in the Allah yatqaakum that I Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you from a man and a woman and I made you to nations nations and clans so that you can you can know each other if you know each other you will do a kind of cooperation mm -hmm. the love or fraternity will be the word of the situation yeah. so now we think in the gambia we need to do not we should be more tolerant mm -hmm. if we are tolerant mm -hmm. in in, in uh, past years now we need to be to be very very linear so to, to be very soft for others our our actions because destruction never it never developed the country destruction of anything any kind of without peace we cannot sit here yeah. that's why i said about courage wa amanahum bin wa alladhi atama min ju'i wa amanahum min khawf akoy manso bat manso me yalon ko atelee london di atelee demorind ah ay tan ka silan fanana yo ni mo silanta no development on the fear of fire we has no development so in order to develop we should promote peace and stability as our religion call of us to be peaceful if there has the anything we should have a peaceful dialogue why not so this is very important especially youths we are all youths yeah we are all youths <laughs> yes <laughs> all right the slide that we show races uh, 1835 don't worry we, we will call you a youth man today <laughs> thank you so much uh doctor ko afanya min nadro amon fem for namira amon fem for their i found finding court now is all from the quran so you've been a muslim brother learn from his words oh, promote okay, peace okay. to live in peace is what we are looking for so don't involve into anything that will bring you into the punishments he uh, mentioned here earlier so with that uh, i will just sit myself to my two uh, dynamic youth in the game here uh, one of which is a peace advocate and then the other one cares for our environment these are two very important uh, people i followed your activities for a long time now uh with the green of uh, gambia mm -hmm. which uh i am a passive member there because i knocked down am with the club card con con crack fine out and then uh, uh there was a time noon there's a youth association called youth for yes that's that okay at the time big club me along your for your association was there and then they did a lot yeah so many tree plantings can again be here without agriculture we will never succeed in this life because agriculture is the first practice mink in, in, in this world uh, and then it will be the last with our environment we cannot promote peace if the environment is not set 
where are you going to preach peace if there's no environment? So with that one B, Golden B Revolution Niajako is very, very necessary to invite these people to come to this podium here, explain to the people why do we need to care for our environment. And also we brought uh, a peaceful guy here wearing a white shirt, which I sometimes think, uh, I think it's some, somehow different. Uh, peace is any color. Peace can be any color. Uh, here is a stage for you. Okay. I want to create an avenue where we will come to a dialogue that we can protect our environment. There are so many malpractices, there are so many things happening in the Gambia here, which is forcing me and all maybe people out there to go to the street to complain about it. Our, our ocean is becoming a dustbin. You talk about so many companies here that are really doing things that are really affecting our environment. Do you think going to the street is the solution? If they are not listening to the dialogues, do you think we should table them here, talk to them? Or do you think we still need to go there, destroy, we use the power in our own hands? Thank you. Um, I'm not an environmentalist, but as a peace advocate, I will say, you know, there can never be peace advocacy if there is no environment. And there can never be coexistence in the environment if there is no peace. Okay. So it's a two-way uh, coin. Mm. But if such things are happening, and it is happening, you know, let us call for dialogue. Mm -hmm. Just recently, on the 6th November this, this year, we organized a press conference, the Peace Gambia. And, you know, we called the three years Jatna yeah. and the president mm -hmm. to come on the table and have dialogue. So. To solve the issue at hand. Mm -hmm. We said dialogue substitution violent. Yeah. This is our principle. I think you have succeeded because I saw on our social WhatsApp media, so I don't know if it's right that yeah. uh, they've given a right to exercise their, uh, they are given a chance to exercise their right. So this is a big approach uh, to that you. That is what I would say, that, you know, it, it is one of the most successful press conferences in this country. Wow. The message was straight and clear. Okay. It was sent and, you know, everywhere you heard about Peace Gambia, we call on them to come on the table and solve the issue at hand. This yeah. is the country that we all own. Yeah. And these people have all the rights to come and do their what? Their peace reporters. That is why we call both the parties to come together and have this dialogue. So if environmental issues are so too much, as peace advocate, we will always call for dialogue. We will never and ever encourage youths or the young people in this country, more especially the environmentalists, to go outside and do something that will jeopardize the peace of this nation. Yeah. Peace is priceless. Mm -hmm. And Ustaz is saying it. You know, there can never be a, uh, a meaningful development if there is no peace. Yeah. Today we are talking about economic and social or political development. Mm -hmm. How can you have them if you don't if you don't live in peace? Mm -hmm. Have you not seen countries in the world that are not at peace? Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't seen fathers butchered to death. Yeah. More than uh, uh, left with painful memories to keep. Mm -hmm. Children's fatherless. So is that, is that what we want for this country? The yeah. question absolutely is no. Yeah. But what are we doing to maintain, to maintain and promote our peace that we have at hand? Sure. So hate speech is one of the things that we should stop as Gambians. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, as the principle goes, one Gambia, one is, and peace Gambia, happily, our, our, our motto com came from the, the national anthem, you know, saying that we live in unity. Yeah. So how can we live in unity and harmony if we don't want to tolerate each other? Mm -hmm. We scripture are we reading that is not preaching oneness. Mm -hmm. In this country, you either, either be a Muslim or a Christian, yeah. as far as I know. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you have other religious, you know, these are the they two all, major, no. Yeah, these are the two majors. Yeah. So we scripture are we actually reading that is not preaching oneness? Yeah. That is not preaching tolerance. Mm -hmm. That is not preaching peace. Yes. So why are we so uh, uh, nervous about our peace? Mm -hmm. And Gambia is known for it quest to export peace. Mm -hmm. The Gambia have contributed in certain, uh, so many countries in the world. Mm -hmm. Liberia is an example. Mm -hmm. Rwanda. You know, you go to Sudan. Even currently, you have our peace mission forces there. Yeah. So if the Gambia is known for exporting peace, why can't we maintain it here first? You want to export mm. we, we don't want to produce. Okay, we don't want to produce. Mm -hmm. Currently, the Gambia, you know, sue Myanmar for their uh, human rights violations. Wow. They want uh, the peace to reign in, 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 in Burma. Mm -hmm. So if you can 
aim for a particular country to have peace, yeah. where can we be at peace uh, ourselves? Yes. And this will lead me to uh, to say peace is classified, classified into two. Mm -hmm. You have internal peace and external peace. Sure. The internal peace is talking about oneself. You cannot live peacefully if you are not peace at yourself. Sure. You must have a peace of mind before you can live peacefully. Sure. Gotcha. I must live peacefully and see that, that everyone here is just, you know, just don't have bad mind for people. So that is, you know, what I'm talking about, internal peace. Sure. Then external, you know, is talking about living with your colleagues. Yeah. You know, let us love each other as champions. Mm -hmm. Let us love each other. Let us drop the burden of hypocrisy and hold on to humanity because that is the reality. Sure. Gambia is about time that we come to the table and you know discuss. In, in, in fact, if I should have it my way, we are going to have a national dialogue. Yeah. A national dialogue where we will talk about our problems, where we will talk about what is really going on. Yeah. Where is the Gambia? Where a full amount the of national, the The national dialogue cannot hold here okay. only if we allow the environmentalist here okay. to talk to us about the environment because. Before going for a dialogue, okay. we must know what is on the table. Yeah, very well. Yeah, if I uh, have a golden button. Okay. It will be given to Green of Gambia. Let me let me say there is no there is no hinges around the environment. Mm. Uh, of course, I'm one of the leading environmental advocates in this country. I've very been away right. for almost two years or so. But generally, we there are no problems within and around the environment in terms of violence and here and there, mm -hmm. which I seems not to understand basically from this dialogue. But generally, let's let's put it into context. Like uh, yesterday was, you know, international peace whatsoever commemoration and things like human rights very whatsoever. Very so when you talk about rights and responsibilities and human dignity sure. and there is no way you can talk about peace without saying inner peace that is your yourself at peace mm -hmm. like let's come let's contextualize it from the faraba incident first sure. that was an environmental problem we call it a natural resource conflict sure. now how did it emanate the community has a garden and where the people get their livelihoods from mm -hmm. That is why, you know, exactly. doctor said, if you don't have food and you're not free from hunger, mm -hmm. then you are agitated and then you are angry. You are not at peace within yourself. You must like. So that tells you that peace cannot be without environmental management and with an environmental management put foods on the table. Mm -hmm. Environmental management bring money into the household. Yeah. It sent most of us to schools because, you know, our parents get their money from the gardens. Yeah. And these gardens, their fertility and productivity level firewood. depends on their environmental management. Yeah. Now you go down to Gunju, you realize that the last sand dune, which is within an ecoton space, mm -hmm. is being mined because people want to construct houses. Mm -hmm. You want to live outside? No. Yeah. So if you don't have a house, where are you going to be? You're going to be in the street. Well. Is that comfortable enough for you? No. Yeah, exactly. But you need environmental resources to have your houses. Yeah. Others need those environmental resources to have their gardens. Yeah. Others need those environmental resources to probably export to China and other places because that is their business. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing we can do in this world without the environment. So everything is within and around and surrounding just the environment. Absolutely. So when we talk about it, we have the 17 sustainable development goals and you have goal 13 on climate action. Mm -hmm. You have hunger, and poverty, health and all that. Yeah. Now, if mm -hmm. manineering is completely polluted, that means the health of the people is not safe. Yeah. And people have the fundamental rights mm -hmm. to quality air and quality health. Very well. Right? Yeah. So if you don't have that, you are not at peace with yourself. Sure. Right? If you don't have food, you are not at peace with yourself. Mm -hmm. So where are we heading to as a country? I think first we need to understand our problems and the genesis of these problems generally. Very I wouldn't dwell into the political differences that we might have. Sure. But well. the environmental management is quite important. And then you did mention about the monkeys have decided. Yeah, very well. Yeah, of course, that was Gambian. Gambian. I just no, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Gambians believe that they had a problem for a 22-year period. Yeah. And they felt they were probably caged. Somebody told me somewhere we were screwed and we had to unscrew ourselves. Very well, okay. How now, we do that? Of course, we had to go to the ballot and, and vote, right? Right, yeah. Now, the monkeys cannot speak for themselves. Very well. Like the donkeys that we keep maltreating in the streets cannot speak for themselves. Very well. But those animals are all part of creation. Mm -hmm. And this is why, you know, you look at Noah when he was actually building the boat, yeah. he did not only put human beings there. Very well. he now, he put in these animals in pair. That's that very. tells you that they are significant and their existence in this world is quite very important. Wow. So why do we need to destroy the monkey forest for, for a conference center? The monkeys we, have decided. We have a lot of places. Okay. No, we have, a lot of, we have a lot of places <laughs> where we could build a conference center. Yeah. Now, that place is not only just because monkeys dwell there. Yeah. Over 23,000 tourists visit that place annually. Wow. And that brings a lot of revenue to the government. 
government of the Gambia. Yeah, and you would understand that Gambia does not have anything to offer in terms of global tourism because I'm a tourism researcher. Right. And we have realized that that is why most time people describe this country as a sex tourism destination. Because right. what do tourists have to see in this country? Really, virtually nothing. It's just monkeys and few trees. Trees are all over Europe. Yeah. They're all over America. Mm -hmm. Now, if you travel the world, you would understand that we do not have what to offer tourists here. Sure. Not, not in terms of beautiful buildings, <coughs> or not in terms of you know, nature or whatever. We don't have it. Mm -hmm. So if we have a monkey forest that is attracting, we need to understand the attraction potentials. Yeah. Now, the monkey forest is attracting tourists to come to this country. And those tourists are actually contributing to socio-economic development of this country. country if yeah. you destroy that to build a... Youth are employed there. Of course. If you uh, destroy that place to put a building, mm -hmm. the tourists don't come to this country to look for buildings. So very you want to look but for buildings, go to Malaysia, the, Dubai, and all the places. Those youths that want to be like Omar Malmo, you have uh, so many other people who are working in the environment. You have like Kemo Fati. So, if this environment are destroyed, so that means... Now, if no the environment is destroyed, Kemo and I will not be affected. Now, I mean, but the young people who are That's what I'm you. saying. You every Gambian, people. every Gambian yeah. will be affected. First, our economy yeah. will be crippled. Our oh, dreams will be affected too. And another thing is our environment will be destroyed and catastrophes will come over. If you walk down the beach, you will realize the sea level rise is eating up some of the hotel yeah. areas. Very and nice. that tells you that these hotels will now be moved. If you go down... Uh, we did a sea level rise research. If you go down one of the islands, they call it Jinak Island, you realize that the restaurants around the beach are all being washed off now because ten years, ten years the water is taking over. Very well, yeah. And if you go down to Banjul, now you're hearing people saying crocodiles are living you know, in our houses and we have to come and remove them. No, people are dwelling in the crocodile zone because those yeah. are the habitats of the crocodile. The crocodiles also will decide. Exactly. So yeah. the crocodiles yeah. are in their original home. So human beings are encroaching into the habitats of the crocodile. Wow. So generally, I think we have a problem of physical planning in this country. The monkeys have decided. Tomorrow, the crocodiles will decide. <laughs> they have <laughs> tomorrow, the vultures may decide. Uh, they have that. But first, uh, we will know who will decide next after our this short commercial break. <laughs> we we come back and then you get so many excitement things from our uh, from our side. Thank you. Uh, welcome back. You're working, watching the Golden Beat of Revolution. I am your host, Aladi Chernoswari. Before we go to the break, I said we will see how many people we decide, but finally, I will let you know that time have also decided. The watch is deciding. So we have the final question to cover, which is I will allow my guests to give their final uh, speeches, and then I will allow Omal Malmo to give an inspirational speech because he is influential. There are many out there, especially from the committee he comes from. Everyone will be like, he's the first to go to the university. He is the first to man that position, which is the president of the UTG Student Union. And he's been the youngest. And then he's been traveling to the uh, Indonesia abroad and so many things defending the Gambia. So we have so many people out there who wants to be like you, Mr. Mormal Musambu Jr. Uh, we would love to know what you have to share with them. Uh, and then I have uh, Dr. Abdul Qadir Silla who is also very influential in terms of uh, religious matters in the country here, especially in terms of Islam. Uh, he is always ready to come there. I thank you so much for coming, and then I want to have your final statement, what you have for your viewers, please. What do you want to do? That is to urge each other mm -hmm. to maintain peace and mm -hmm. stability in the country. Sure. There is no, no development, mm -hmm. no uh, anything one can do mm -hmm. If you see the business in other areas or some countries, the business is always booming mm -hmm. be because of the peace. Yeah. So if the, we didn't have peace, we should have environment, environment to maintain peace. Mm -hmm. 
and brotherly love. Mm -hmm. You should love each other. You should be ready to render service to each other. That will, that will promote uh, the peace in the country. So to, to have this, as uh, my, my two colleagues said, mm -hmm. to have internal peace, mm -hmm. to be peace with yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why you should worship only God. Yeah. Only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you have a peace. Yeah. That's why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Man asbaha aminan fi sirbihi, mu'afan fi badanihi, wa malaka kuta yawmihi, faka'anna mahizat lahu dunya. If you have, if you are lucky to have peace, mm -hmm. uh, and also to have your food, your daily food, you yeah. have it, mm -hmm. and you have a good health, it is like you are the king of the world. He was a man who said, "Come in, woman, son, and that." Ye ibela maniari, motending attackla, motending attackla, motem mus attackla, motem tefo attackla. Ibela ruwa, tefo dumang kumola kujam tengkona. Ako ye ye la wenu domorosot. Ijatwa be kembeare. Kama tete lumu dunia bela nyato kote. So, wale 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 important. Nima peace soto, salo, suo, hijo, kunima kote ni wale teke nola. So, wale atina is part of the most important. Ala said, I model model bide meni ala nko. I itarta nu maafako no. Itarta nu bari watu banda juska somara islam. Nima hadis wale. Nima ayo wale. Itarta nu maafako no. Itarta nu isondomo tarta lari. Bari nana kafi ya alama. Ala nana nima matema. Iba kena nwele mwende ya peace mandila. You have to maintain that peace. You have demonstrate your ability to maintain that peace. Because if you have insecurity, that will dismantle the peace. So to build the nation, uh, uh, that cannot be possible. Mm -hmm. So that is the more important message that we should urge each, each other to maintain peace, either without considering our political affiliation or our religious affiliation. No, literally for false yolo. Because you know yolo, you buy the balafa. Man, you call it yolo. When the balafa do, in the yolo the bala. You know yolo. You know a crime. I tell you, more than one million yolo. A bunyat. In the way at kaku, the most honorable creature beside our spine or whatever is the one who is God fearing. So this is the message. That I have for my viewers. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and Dr. Thank uh, for the golden the, uh, my, my and your, brothers. Your colleagues here. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Peace. Yeah, I Mr. call I call your CEO Peace, Mr. Peace. So I will also give you a title before you leave. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Suarez, for the invitation. Yeah. And I will say uh, I'm very delighted to talk about to talk on this theme, yeah. uh, national security, national peace and security. Yeah. Yeah, there can never be stability in the absence of peace. Yeah. And in a, st a stable nation, in where there is stability, there is peace. So at this juncture, I will call on all to be peaceful okay. and be tolerant. Okay. And you know, I, I have to say this: you know, Peace Gambia is doing a lot yeah. to make sure that there is peace in this country. You know, right now we have more than seven peace clubs. Yeah. In, in, in schools in West Coast, we have some in Fonia, in fact. Yeah, right. You know, so that we can have peace at the grassroots level. So and that it will be decentralized to the Gambia side. So, thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Uh, Kutubo. Uh, I have Mr. Omar Marmosamu to give us an inspirational uh, speech because you are influential. I know there are many out there who mm -hmm. wants to be like Malmo. Thank you very much and thank you for the invitation. Uh, first, I think I am not really influential. I am. We're just trying to put things in order and then try to see how we can move this nation together. Uh, I would deviate a bit from the environment. I think we're dominantly talking on peace. And uh, I just want to say that even the politicians cannot lead without peace. So that means that uh, for us to live uh, in a 
positive coexistence as a people of a nation, we have to come together as one. And we might, of course, have our political differences, but that is not, you know, to say that we need to be at war with each other with all kind of insults. It's difficult to really read things that are coming from the Gambia from outside. It's quite pathetic, and oftentimes it's just sad and unfortunate. So I believe young people of this nation, oftentimes we say young people are the future leaders of tomorrow or we prepare. They said they are today. So I don't really believe in that. I think elders or young people, we are in this world to ensure that there is peace and stability so that we can all exist peacefully until the day that the Lord will call us to wherever we have to go. Okay. But uh, in the meantime, I, ho I, hope, I hope that everybody would understand that it is our collective responsibility. It is incumbent of, upon every citizen of this world, not just a nation, mm -hmm. to ensure that peace exists and uh, we have a positive coexistence. Mm -hmm. And of course, to the young people, is oftentimes I think Gambian young people are very obsessed with travels, and it's sad and unfortunate to understand a lot of people died along the way trying to get to Europe. Yeah. Europe yeah. is not what we think it is, you know. I've been to a lot of European countries, but. It will, be, it will be sad to know that even young Africans in Europe, you can see people in the streets oh. of Europe who do not have houses to sleep, who do not have jobs and who do not have daily meals, honestly. So we have met different people who are probably having some even mental problems in the streets of Europe. Yes. So, you know, it, it's important okay. that we, right. we try to embrace what we have and we work hard in our, in our own backyards mm -hmm. and see what we can get, you know. We strive and work and pray that all may... In you know, live in unity. Yeah, so, yeah. thank you very much, and I think I will just close. Thank you with uh, that. so much, from our Malmo Sambu. Uh, with that, this will bring us to the end of the show. But we can't conclude without doing what we usually do. That is, uh, to anyone we invite here, we give you a certificate for a certificate of appreciation for coming to share your story or to share some uh, some things that will be beneficial to the youth. Uh, like I uh, said earlier. You're watching the Golden Beat Vision TV show that comes to you every Wednesday. You can follow our activities on our Facebook page, which is the Golden Beat Revolution uh, 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 on Facebook. And then very soon we'll also be coming to you on YouTube where we'll share our channel, channel link here. You can follow our activities. We have some things to go with you. So we will end with this certificate that will be given to the three guests that we have with, uh, with us here today. Uh, we will say a thank you. Thank you so much for coming to share with us here. Uh, we hope to see you next time. Thank sure. you very thank much. You. Sure. So with that, we will say bye-bye. See you till next week, Wednesday, inshallah.